Hello friends, I am Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make eggless vanilla custard powder at home. And using that custard powder, I will show you how to make super creamy fruit custard at home as well. So let's see the recipes. At first I have taken 1 cup of sugar for custard powder. Here is 1 cup. You can measure with any bowl, any cup, anything. Uh, there is no problem. Now we need a mixer jar. I am taking a big mixer jar because the quantity will not be uh, so small. So a big mixer jar and I am adding the sugar into the mixer jar. And now I will cover the mixer jar and make a fine powder of the sugar. Here you can see friends that I have made a fine powder of the sugar. It's perfect. And now we need half cup of corn flour. I have taken 1 cup of sugar and for that I need half cup of corn flour. So let's add the corn flour into it and at the same time we need half cup of milk powder. I am not taking any egg so I am taking milk powder here because I am making eggless custard powder. So half cup of milk powder. And at the same time, I will add 1 4 teaspoon of lemon yellow food color. And with it, I will add half teaspoon of vanilla essence because we are making vanilla custard powder. I am adding half teaspoon of vanilla essence. You may add any kind of essence as you like and the custard powder will be of that flavor. So now I am covering the jar and running the mixer again so that everything can be mixed well. And now our custard powder is ready. You can see friends our custard powder is ready and now we have to store this uh, in a container. You may use airtight container but uh, it is not necessary for this. And if we don't need to store this powder in refrigerator we can store it without refrigerator also. And uh, we can store this powder for about one year. Actually, it depends on the validity date of your vanilla essence and the milk powder. So, our custard powder is ready and now store this powder and enjoy it. Now, I will show you how to make fruit custard from this custard powder. For the process, I have taken a pan. Now, I am adding 1 4th cup of custard powder. And for this quantity of custard powder, we need about 1 and a half cup of milk but i am taking some more milk i am taking three to four cups of milk because actually i uh, want some extra creaminess in this fruit custard i'll boil this milk and reduce the quantity of the milk to one and a half cup so i am taking some more milk but it's not necessary you may use one and a half cup milk only and if you need some extra creaminess then you can add some uh, fresh milk cream or some uh, condensed milk or some uh, powdered milk anything it's fully of your choice there is no problem now i have to break down all the lumps of the custard powder in this slurry so i'm using a hand whisker and whisking it you may do this same thing with the help of the spoon also in that case you need a longer time and now my slurry is ready as you can see there is no lumps in this slurry and I will show you using the spoon also and of course I will check it finally myself. So now it is ready. Um, now I am showing you using a spoon. As you can see friends the slurry is ready and now we have to cook it. As you can see friends that I have put the vessel on heat to cook and now we have to stir it continuously until it starts to boil and now it has started to boil as you can see and now we have to stir the mixture occasionally there is no problem and now i have to wait for a longer time as i said you previously that i have to reduce the quantity so i am waiting and of course i will start the mixture occasionally i am waiting until a nice creaminess is formed in this slurry and now you may notice the change the color of the custard is very bright and I am feeling a heaviness on my spoon. We can also feel the creaminess of the custard with our open eyes. 
I am showing you the consistency of this custard with the help of the spoon. I am running my fingertip on the back of the spoon and you can see the clean line clearly. And of course you have to notice the coating of the uh, custard on the back of the spoon. It should not be very thick and it should not be very light also. Now our custard is ready and we need to cool it down completely. Now our custard cream is fully at normal temperature but it's not chilled because I haven't to put it in refrigerator. So now we have to add fruits in the custard cream. You may add any kind of fruits according to your choice. Here I have taken some apples, some pears, some bananas and some pomegranate seeds. So I'll add them into the custard cream. I actually like this fruit custard with both soft and crunchy fruits. So I have taken pomegranates, apples and pears for crunchiness and uh, banana for softness. I am adding all the fruits to the custard cream and now we have to mix everything properly and our fruit custard is ready. Now we have to freeze the mixture for uh, 1 to 2 hours before serving but I'll serve it first and freeze it later. So I am serving the fruit custard into serving bowls. You have seen friends that the recipe is very easy and very simple to try. So please try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have taken out all the fruit custard here and now I am garnishing a little. And after that I will freeze the fruit custard for 1-2 to two hours and then we will enjoy the chilled and super creamy fruit custard. It's very simple recipe. Please try this simple recipe at home. And thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.